Welcome to Neutrino Day, Star Chronicles. Hello everyone and welcome to the second day of Neutrino Day. And then join the gathering. Walk around, talk to people and explore. Like we said, we have a theater, virtual tours, library, um, booths and activities. So go explore that today. Hi Jed. Hi Deb. Here we are. What's a phenomena? Phenomena. Do, 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 do. Phenomena. phenomena. Do, 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 do. Everybody watching? Wow. That is so cool. What if? What if your hands wet or your fingers wet? Well, it, it, it's pretty wet. Well, I can make it a little. There we go. All right. See if I can. <gasps> oh, wow. Did you see that? That was pretty good. Yeah. That was pretty good. Uh, in the beginning, the universe was created. Uh, this made a lot of people very angry and has been widely regarded as a bad move. Um, this is from one of my favorite authors, Douglas Adams. So the stars are telling us that something is missing, but maybe they're also pointing towards the answer, and the answer might be a particle called a wimp. Signals have to be read out, and we have to be able to read them, and so that required 11 miles of cabling. That's good. We have, uh, our plan is to take data for five years, roughly speaking. I'm here with Mike Lammers, who works as an education specialist um, at the Journey Museum and Learning Center in Rapid City, South Dakota. So a lot of the stars, um, they compile different great constellations um, to, uh, to make our star chart. And so we, um, we felt that the celebrations that were happening down here uh, were also happening up there. With my older brother, Tim Lammers, that's his niche is recreating um, items made identically the way they, they were made back then. So we will go out and find the, find the exact things that they were made from, use the exact same techniques, dyes, everything. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes his work so unique. And this, this one is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we love neutrinos. We love them so much that we invited a group of international scientists to join us to tell the story of neutrinos. So then the race was on to observe this ghostly particle that uh, was postulated. And so people wanted to observe the first neutrino. Then supernova neutrinos, these are, they are produced in abundance and carry 99% of the energy when a, a supermassive star collapses. I hope this uh, sort of gave you a flavor about uh, the history of neutrinos and you can see that there's a lot of exciting things to discover. It's a very interesting area of physics. 